Now, over 3,000 members of the press from around the world were in South Korea to cover the summit. Our Lee ji -won talked to some of them at the media press center set up especially for this occasion about their most memorable moments. The pressure and work-related stress was palpable in the summit press center, but there was also laughter and overwhelming emotions. It's a mixed atmosphere because um, I noticed that everybody is busy and exhausted in some way, but still everyone is so excited to witness this such a huge event in the world. So. Other than the actual summit talks, the two leaders did a lot of activities together and even surprised many with off-the-script gestures. I think everyone would agree that the first moment they met was the most impressive. It's the first time a North Korean leader crossed the border since the Korean War. And on top of their unprecedented meeting, President Moon stepped onto the North Korea's soil simply after a quick chat with Kim Jong-un. That shows how close and near the two Koreas actually are. When they walked on that bridge and sat down, this was probably the moment when they made history. When you saw the faces, they were really serious. They, they had something to talk about. Usually summits are just more or less pleasantries because everything has been uh, decided in advance. During that time, they talked about something that is not clear yet for both. Kim Jong-un's smiles and small chats with President Moon also gave viewers an opportunity to appreciate a never-before-seen aspect of the North Korean leader. He's he got a sense of humor, and um, I think his, his attitude is very um, active or aggressive in a way, but not so offensive. So it's really good. It surprised me because I heard that he is strong and um, so determined. I mean, not in a you know very kind way. For me, this summit really changed my opinion toward him. Those who covered previous inter-Korean summits say the atmosphere between the leaders was much softer this time. The atmosphere atmosphere was certainly different. I think. Now there is much more trust. Uh, President Moon has four years to go, so this is a good point. He has time to implement what they decide. But in terms of creating a new image for Kim on the international stage, some say there's still much to be done. Kim gave off a very positive image through the summit, but honestly, he wasn't really trusted by the international community until now. So it will take more time and effort to change his image, but I do think it will get better from now on. Though perspectives on the 2018 inter-Korean summit varied from individual to individual, the general consensus among the international pool of journalists seems to be that the summit was a success. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.